This is the energy vibration reading for the third quarter for the Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This third quarter, you're going to be have to deal in with the fire energies, but it is in the positive way. There is going to be movement, there is going to be a lot of travel for you guys, a lot of movement that is going to be going on so let's call in your angels and guides of the Gemini's to show us what's gonna happen for the third quarter with the fire energies for um, the Gemini's for the year 2018 so we are first going to be looking at the month of July August and September and then we're going to work our ways through the general energies and this is the general energy is the energy from the chariot um, and a uh, fire sign the earth sign is the um, the air event and then we have uh, um, the balancing out um, the um, balance and that is an earth sign the Virgos and then we have the energy of the Aquarius uh, on the month of September so let's see what your energy vibration is going to bring up you are working to bring justice and balance to situation that has been unbalanced in the third quarter so this is extremely extremely good because it is the energy of number eight but it in this deck it is justice so and you're not seeking any strength but you're working out and balancing out situation that is coming out from past life or in this form of this earthly life okay so wonderful energies are coming out you're bringing an end in the first month to something in your life this is wonderful and this is positive so you have the energy of justice and you're bringing out justice and balance to an earth energy okay whatever the situation is or was um, this earth energy this is positive because it's a yes so if you decide to do something in the month of July go ahead and do it because it is going to be a yes whatever the question is whatever that you are asking if you have something of um, legalities of um, conflicts um, the, there's going to be coming an end and a balance in your life so this is um, very much so positive as we look at the second month August is going to be a very positive month for you Gemini some of you could be getting married okay in August some of you could be getting married now um, the month of August for you Gemini's are going to be a fabulous fabulous month because you have the energy of the magician now this third quarter is basically looking very positive for you Gemini's, especially in the month of July and August August is going to be your best and most favorite month so remember that in August is as if you're going to be seen through the illusions and um, whatever is happening for you the number eight is here twice okay so be aware that uh, you could be gaining some financial gain now in the month of September it's a weird month because you are having um, for the general energies you're having the energy of um, the lower energy the lower frequency and you have to deal with also an ending that is coming up so um, be aware of accidents okay whenever these two energies comes up be aware of accidents in the month of September for you Gemini's this is an um, a warning of accidents because I'm seeing something in traffic for um, you Gemini's for this quarter especially in September is there's something coming up with traffic in September so be aware of this okay so be um, on your P's and Q's in the month of September let's see how it is going to be working out so we're asking the angels and guys to show us what the Gemini's is supposed to be expecting um, with the month of July going in August the year 2018 wonderful six of cups so obviously um, some of you will be um, ending 
a relationship divorce um, and um, ending a relationship with someone who could be a Capricorn also um, because you, you could be marrying so some of you could be um, you know have a Capricorn who was a good friend or an ex-partner and you're handing that because you have moved on um, and this person this Capricorn person because the energies of the hurt is here so it's a Capricorn person that you were in a relationship with or that was your soulmate uh, or that was someone from your past life and you're ending that because you're moving on um, to something some of you could be connecting reconnecting with this Capricorn okay whoever is this person she's over the age, he or she is over the age of 40 so you could be reconnecting with this person whoever they is but this person is coming from past life because here is it and they're saying it's more of a reconnection instead of ending some of you could be um, divorcing but they're saying reconnection and they're, they're, they're showing me the signs of uh, you are trying to reconnect with this person because it's as if you miss this person it's as if this person you haven't end a situation with this person and your heart um, your heart is linked with this person some of you do not want to end um, this connection and it's as if you're being pushed to end it and uh, the answer to this question don't end it because if it's someone from a past life and you're so powerfully connected in body mind and soul keep it going because People need to understand that you can't just let people just drop someone who you have lived with for many lifetimes or have a connection with with many lifetimes. You need to understand that you um, people need to respect the fact that um, these people. Um, your partner has connected with someone before and maybe whatever they have um, cherished together um, they are still feeling it and you you know once it's not affecting you and once these people are not coming in your life let them be with how their feelings and this is what I'm getting that a Gemini um, has connected in the past and it is a past life person and uh, um, whatever has transpired is as if certain energies came in and, and pull you apart and now um, it is as if you do not want to release yourself of this past life because it is something that gives you pleasure and um, your heart um, goes out and um, you want to do a reconnection with this person because the energy of justice is as if whatever that injustice and that sort of a thing you want to come back and, 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 and you know reach out to this person and hope that this person will stay in your life for a long time okay it is something as if um, you miss this person it's as if this person as um, you know uh, is out of your life and you really genuinely miss this person and you're thinking about this person because um, and um, you know reach out to this person because um, I'm sure they're also open to whatever it is okay let's look at what is happening between the month of August going into September the six of swords so um, some of you are going to decide to leave behind um, a relationship a situation that you have had with someone in the past because you're realizing that you have to move on because you're realizing that this person may not come back in your life or this situation may not come back so you're moving on and trying to find better shores and you're nearly at the end of this journey okay I'm, I'm, I'm really um, receiving so um, whatever because you know some of you could be getting divorced a lot of you could be getting divorce or a separation and you are now especially in the month of September you're now on that last lap in September that is when you're finishing this journey with this person I'm seeing that some of you are having um, it hard to release this person because this person means a lot to you and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling as if um, this person could have passed on for some of you that they're going to be passing on in September or um, 
they you have reached an end where you have begun a new relationship and you realize that you can no longer hold this person in your heart chakra but you have to release them so that you can open up for something else um, you are not really enjoying this but you know it's something that you have to do the outcomes for your month is the energy of the ace of cup new love okay 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 um my guides are so so they are really something else and the eight of swords you're seeing a situation <laughs> okay let me take my hair back okay let's get down to business ladies and gentlemen now whatever has transpired some of you have a soul connection it could be with an a, a capricorn or it could be with someone else but it is uh, someone who has earth energy vibration in their sign okay a lot of you are deciding to let go of the situation and move on some of you could have been in relationship with Gemini's also and or Librans and you decided that you know you have to really leave it. some of you are going to be connecting with the Gemini's Libra or the um, Capricorns you're going to be connecting in a relationship because new love the outcomes of your um, month is new love coming in and this new love is extremely extremely positive because what is happening here is basically that um, some of you who are dealing with the, 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 the Capricorns or the Taurus or the Virgos, the Librans, um, you're dealing with Librans, okay? If you are a Gemini that has a relationship with a Libran, a Capricorn, um, Libran or a Capricorn, this is someone from a past life. This is someone that you have had powerful love for. You love this person from your heart, soul, and body, and you are open to connect with them. Some of these could be coming in new, you could be just meeting them, but some of them, but whoever you are as a Gemini, you are going to be having the strong connection towards a Capricorn or a Libran, okay? And this is going to be new love coming in, or this is going to be a soulmate or a twin flame from the past that is coming back, okay? Some of you Gemini's are at the end of a journey with a Libran. Some of you are at the end of the journey with a situation that an injustice situation that has happened in your life. Some of you are really at the end of a journey with an injustice situation that is happening into your life, and you're seeing the truth of the situation. Whatever that has transpired, you weren't seeing clearly what is happening, but now you are seeing the truth of a situation, and you are feeling um, very sad about the situation because you weren't aware of certain situation that has been happening okay some of you are going to be ending a relationship with someone who is a Gemini or someone who has the energy vibration um, of, G of the Gemini in their birth chart okay you could be seeing a situation about that person and you could be ending of this okay because I'm seeing that you Gemini's are ending because the energy of the debt and you're ending the situation and by ending the situation a new love is going to be coming out and this new love that could be coming out is a Libra or a Capricorn okay or it could be someone else with um, Libra or a Capricorn Sun and Moon rising sign in their birth chart but this is going to be a very positive thing okay oh my gosh I'm so over the time with you Gemini's okay all right let's go ahead and look and see what is going to be happening in the lives of the men and women okay something fell out you need to take a look you need to ask for inner wisdom and strength to help you move on whatever the situation is you need to ask for inner wisdom and strength to move you on and to guide you on forward okay so this is going to be one um, you have to find inner strength because an ending is going to be coming in in your life so um, 
you Gemini so ending is going to be coming in and then new love is going to come up okay um, we will take a more in-depth look in the month of September because I'm seeing an ending coming in and you're going to be looking inwards for inner wisdom and guidance okay so let's see the men over 40 what is going to be happening for the men over 40 in their general lives in the sun mm -mm -mm. I don't know you Aquarians you Gemini's I'm sorry <laughs> so you men over fear talk in your personal life you are going to be feeling yourself again you're gonna be yeah you know if you were sick and not feeling well you're going to be feeling um, you, you know um, so wonderful um, your sickness is uh, you know going to be clearing up and that sort of a thing in this third quarter so that's good news for you guys let's see what is happening in your work life for the men over 40 um, in your work life a situation that you had had in the past with someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius is now in the reverse form so in your work life if you were dealing with someone who was an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius he is now in the reverse form be careful of this person because when they're in the reverse form they can be very very much vicious okay so um, you can also be vicious so it's it's gonna be the clash of the Titans fire and um, hair so be aware of this As we look forward to your love life for the men over 40 the Gemini is over 40 um, okay all right this could be a father-in-law and let's hope it's a father-in-law if it's the same sex um, if you are attracted to the same sex you are going to be meeting someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay if not this could be your father-in-law or um, this could be your mother-in-law or your father-in-law okay so um, it's vice versa also if you are in same-sex relationship it can be a man or a woman um, what you are going to be dealing with but this is a same-sex relationship if it's the same-sex relationship it's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay so um, you'd be meeting this uh, person in the third quarter so look out for the monthly reading of July August and September and then you will know exactly what is happening let's look at the ladies 40 years and older what is going to be happening in your life just the general energies around you that has to do with your house and your car and that sort of a thing you're going to be receiving help so the ladies the Gemini is over 40 you earn to receive some help so whatever help that you need in your life help uh, is going to come in it it's not going to be financial help it's just going to be people helping you out okay so it's not going to be financial help you could be getting married and that sort of a thing and there are people who will be helping you out to choose the cake and that sort of a thing so um, look out for that let's see what's happening in your work and career life for the Gemini's over 40 heartbreak 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 so um that could be the ending of your work um for you guys or there could be conflicts on the work floor or, or that sort of a thing okay let's see what is going to be happening in your love life for ladies over 40 ladies over 40 your love life is going to be wonderful so some of you are going to get married um, some of you are going to meet your soulmate some of you are go who are single are going to be meet the man of your dreams of the woman uh, the man of your dreams um, this is going to be wonderful because it's as if the universe has lined this person up for you So let's look at the lay the young ladies between the ages of 15 and 40 to see what is going to be happening in your life. Some of you are going to be having a situation with someone who could be a mother figure. This could be someone who is an, um, 
a Pisces cancer or a scorpion some of you could be having a connection with someone who's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion so be aware of this you could be having a situation where this person could be a mom or a older figure or a sister or that sort of a thing but is an, an, an older woman so it's mostly your mom because this is for um, the reading that is uh, for the ladies 15 to 40 so let's look what happening in work or career or study there's going to be some conflicts there's really really going to be some conflicts whatever the situation is there going there is going to be um, some conflicts that you're going to be having this could be conflicts with your parents your mom um, some of you ladies could really have some conflicts with your mom so um, be aware of this so this is for the people 15 between the ages of 15 and 40 you could be having some conflicts with your mom or someone who is a mother figure or someone who is older and this could be on the work floor and this could be um, uh, an organization and that sort of a thing but be aware of this okay as we go forward and we look at the love energies for you ladies it's going to be wonderful you're going to be working together balancing out situation and coming together to um, you know make a very wonderful relationship so relationship for you guys are going to be good single people are going to be finding someone and um, this is going to be wonderful some of you are going to be working on your own emotions to see what is happening with you so last and least let's look at the young men 15 between 15 the young men between 15 and the young men between 15 and 40 what is happening in their lives you are going to be dealing so you men if your mom is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius you have to you're going to have a situation in the month in these three months in the quarter and it could be any one of the months so you are going to be having a situation in any one of these months so be aware of this and um, know that this is happening so um, be aware of whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring because it could be that you're having a situation to deal with with your mom if your mother is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you have to deal with a situation with her in the, um, the this quarter let's see in work what's happening for you men positive energy you're moving forward you are very ambitious and you're moving forward you're trying to make something of yourself whether it's in work whether it's in your career whether it's in your own business you're being very ambitious and moving forward and this is going to be good okay as we look at love for you men we're looking at love <coughs> sorry for you men you're hoping you're wishing and hoping you are wishing and hoping for a positive new beginning whatever is happening you're wishing and hoping for a positive new beginning in love okay so um it's as if your relationship hasn't been going good and you're wishing and hoping and this is it new love is going to come in because um especially you men between the ages of um 15 and 40 um, you're wishing and hoping for a positive new relationship and this is going to be happening for you okay so look out for that so here we go ladies and gentlemen here we go so it's basically and it's a wonderful wonderful positive energies that is coming out for you guys okay so let's see before I give you the numbers what is the message the universe have your back it said my fearless freedom lights and lighten up the world my fearless freedom lighten up the world and this is wonderful your fearless freedom lighten up the world and this is absolutely wonderful okay brilliant um, really really brilliant this is um, really good positive energies that are coming in for you guys really good positive energies that are coming in for you guys in a positive positive way okay 
this is good because it's as if you're going within and you're finding that fearless fearless wisdom that is going to be lightening up the world so this is um, a very very positive okay this is going to be very much positive so ladies and gentlemen let's look at what numbers you can work with in this quarter we had the eights oh my god you guys have so many eights um, the eight is infinity abundancy um, that is 10 and 3 that is 13 so it's 4 and you have the 6 you have the 8 and you have the 6 the 8 and the 6 yes we have the 6 we have the 8 and the 6 we have the 3 so we have 3 6 and 8 we have the energies of three, six, and eight, which is extremely wonderful. Yeah, so again, your numbers is three, six, and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Um, please remember to like and share these videos because it's going to be a positive positive energy that is coming out for you guys namaste until next time